Well, hopefully this video will explain how to repartition a drive in Windows 7 without installing any third-party software, just using only the Windows graphical disk management utility. I've got Windows 7 here in a virtual machine. So I'm going to fire up Windows 7 Home Premium 32-bit. It's running in Oracle's VirtualBox. I like Oracle's um, VirtualBox because it's open source, um, which means it's absolutely free. And there's people working on it all the time, so there's, you know, there's updates on a regular basis. So I'll wait to log in here. Okay, so here's our desktop, and if we open up uh, the, the computer folder, we'll see that there's, uh, well, there's a couple network shares out here, but there's three hard drives here, uh, drive C, E, and F, and I happen to know there's only one physical drive in the system, so these are actually three partitions on the same drive, and what we're going to do is remove this partition which um, has drive F on it and merge it with this partition and drive E will just become bigger. And so there's several ways to do that. Um, if the start menu had been configured to show administrative tools, um, we could open the computer management component of the Microsoft Management Console and launch the Disk Management Snap-In, but it's not configured such. We, we could do it. Right now we could configure it, but I want to show other ways to get to the tool. We could also use the computer folder just to um, brute force manually navigate down to where the file is stored, which is in the Windows System 32 folder. And it's called disk management.msc, which is right there. Um, a third way to do that is we could use the search field of the start and we could just type it in. Um, disk management msc and see, and it pops up there too. But what I'm going to do is, is launch a run command and run it from here. Okay, so we can see here, it's got our drives up there, and um, drive F, uh, which, which the drive label is My Old Berlin's Dilemma, we're going to delete that partition and merge it with this partition with the label of another partition. And then the whole thing will be one larger partition. So 5 gigs plus 5 gigs, it'll be roughly 10 gigs minus system overhead. So first thing, um, we will just simply delete that to volume. And you say, are oh, you want to continue? Yeah. And um, now we have, now the volume is gone. The volume was the drive letter and, and, and the name, but there's still a partition there that can be used. Um, so we have to next delete the partition. Okay, and now it's unallocated. Now it's available to be used elsewhere, like uh, another partition. Um, we could break it into, up into several logical partitions. But what we're going to do is merge it with this partition here. So the 5 gigs and 5 gigs should become close to 10. So now we'll go over here and we'll just tell it to, to uh, extend the, the volume. And we want the whole volume uh, drive E to extend all the way to the end. 
So we'll say next. And uh, it's already pre-filled in how much space is left on the drive, which is this five gigs. So we'll, say, we'll just simply say next. And then we're going to finish. And bingo, there it is. It's 10 gigs. And drive F is gone. My old Berlin's dilemma is history. And now another partition is twice as big as it used to be. And what we can do is we can go back into the computer folder just to take a look at it. And sure enough, drive F is gone. And drive E is twice as big. And we can access it. No problem at all. And so that's all there is to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has just left the building.